Another common type of view used in drawings is called an auxiliary view. An auxiliary view is a view that's drawn orthogonally, or at a right angle from an angled face or feature of a part. For instance, you can see in the isometric view here that the part has a hole on this angled face. Let's say I want to show a view in a drawing that looks directly at the hole. I can create an auxiliary view to accomplish this. To create an auxiliary view, click the auxiliary view icon on the Create panel of the Place Views tab on the ribbon. Once the command is active, you must first select an existing drawing view that the new view will be created from. Once I select the view, the Auxiliary View dialog box appears. Here, I can give the view a name and also adjust the scale if I'd like. Underneath are a couple of options for adding a label to the view. The first option toggles the label on and off. Clicking on the second icon will allow you to edit the label's name. I'll leave the label toggled off for this example. The next few icons in the Style section allow you to adjust the display properties of the new view. By default, they are set to the Base View's drawing style, and I'll leave them at that, but you can use these options if you'd like to change how the auxiliary view will be displayed. The last option is the checkbox labeled Definition in Base View. This will create arrows to show where the auxiliary view is projected from. I'll enable this option. With all the properties set up, all I need to do now is select an edge in the drawing view that you would like to project the view from. A preview of the view appears, and I can place it by clicking in the display area. The definition in base view checkbox we went over added this dashed line here. You can adjust the line by clicking and dragging either the arrows or the line itself.